you today? I'm going to go with a Bob Reggie book here. I haven't seen a braid like that in years. I've, I've never seen a braid like that in years. Like Shop. It hit me like, I don't think that's a good thing. And I was like, no, no, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's pretty bad when you... It's not going to make her hair wavy when she does that, but my hair won't get wavy because it's too straight. You're getting a haircut too? I am. It was quite the surprise. <laughs> How so? Uh, because I did not expect a haircut. And so what do you usually do with your hair? I usually cut it real short, or have it cut short, yeah. I talk too much. <laughs> got right red, I got... I looked at her, I was like, what? She's like, that sounded bad, didn't it?
How do you feel? Yeah. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks to the people at Savvy Salon, especially Katie Jones, who did my style and cut. Um, had a great time. Oh, great time. She's about to get her hair cut. She's going to donate it to Locks of Love. It's a big deal for her, so we're going to see what we're going to do. <laughs> You still got some on your head. So pretty. costumes to do, but I think my boyfriend and I are going as Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy from Spongebob Squarepants. Okay. <laughs> and because of my short hair, I can now do Barnacle Boy convincingly. <laughs> Another reason to shave your head. Yeah. 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 To take it home to their families and their workplace, like other
señores. Jessica demuestra su valentía. Jessica. Verán. Es una capa. Bien. Tu nuevo amigo se llama Darío. Vení a pasar, Jessica. Te saludan todos acá. Le ovacionan a Jessica. Ahí está, Darío con Jessica. Decime si alguna vez alguien cayó a tu local y te dijo una mujer específicamente, me quiero rapar la cabeza. Hasta ahora nunca. Nunca. Es la primera vez que vas a rapar a una mujer. La verdad que voy a tener el honor. Vas a tener el honor. Señores, estoy cortando el cabello en vivo. Este mechón el más largo. De una mujer en mi vida me imaginaba hacer esto. Chiche Coafer. Mirá lo que es Chiche Coafer pronto. Que no se cope el chiche. ¡Ay, mamá! Sí. Mirá lo que es esto. Pará. Un bigote, un bigote. En, en Twitter ya habíamos pillado que tiene también una empresa de transporte. Es larguísimo. Mirá lo que es Eso cuesta pedazo, plata, mirá. ¿eh? Cuesta plata eso, ¿eh? Se sí. cayó un mechón, esperá. Está echando la plata. Espero que se haya lavado hoy el cabello. <risa> <risa> ¿Qué pasó? Menos mal que no hay espejo. ¿Se puede poner acá en, el, en, el, en este plasma, se puede poner la imagen? Así le decimos que gire un ratito para ver en los plasmas la imagen de nuestra amiga Jessica, que está aceptando hacer la prueba extrema y está siendo rapada en vivo. A mí me vas a acordar un poco de la onda de Roxette, si era un poco más rubia, ¿verdad? De la época ya de los 90, en el 92, 93, más o menos cuando vino a Paraguay, tenía este luquete que se está mandando Jessica en este momento. Sí, sí, sí. Pues esto es una tendencia, esto. Está hecha Roxette, estamos en Mario Roxette. Roxette. Ahí va. Suena Roxette, es chingo. Y después te pones a cantar tus temas y ya está. La cantante de Blondie también tiene pelo corto, ¿eh? Te podés ir a un karaoke después de robar con los temas de. Mira, te quedó este pedacito acá. Mira qué look. Déjale ese. Junior. Bueno, acá la gente en el sí. Facebook. Sí, eh, ¿qué, muchas dice, ¿Qué dice la gente en el Facebook? Muchísimas opiniones. Algunos dicen que le parece a Claudia. Eh, sí, también. Tiene sí, un sí. aire de Claudia. Y muchos están de acuerdo con ella. ¡Y camina ahora! Claudia, ¿eh? A ver, acá Francisco dice que ofrece 500 mil para venir por el cabello de Jesse. Ahí está, 500 mil. Empieza la subasta de Jingo. Subasta de Jingo, ¿quién da más, señores? 500. Veo 600 por allá, 600, 600, 600. A ver, la profe Vivi, 600, 600, 600. 600. Te queda muy bien. Resalta muchísimo sus ojos. Yo te digo que... Y sí, porque... Poneme la irlandesa y es igual. No, pero te le pones un labial rojo a resaltar tu boca. Sí, está. Ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está. Mirá, ahí está la actriz. Que vas a tener esta noche es... Va a proceder por la primera parte. ¡Ay, ay, ay! ay, 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 ay. ¡Decile chavo a tu cabello, Claudia! ¡Despedite, Claudia! ¡Tocate el cabello ay. por última vez! ¡Tocate el cabello! Nosotros, es la última vez que Nosotros te guardamos, te hacemos una peluca después, tranquila. Te vamos a guardar el cabello. Lo bueno de esto es que Claudia es hermosa, así que cualquier look le va a quedar hermoso. Mirá lo que es ese look, ¿eh? Parece de acá arriba que estamos mirando... A un nene. No. Mira, es tremendo, pero por favor, mira, meto acá la mano. No me cortes el dedo. Qué valentía la de Meto acá y nada, eh. Ojo que falta un poco más todavía acá. Falta un poquito más. Ahí está muy bien. ¿Qué se siente, Claudia? ¿Qué se siente, Claudia? Duele un poquito, pero. Y mi cabello. Me siento raro. Mi mamá lo que me va a retar muchísimo ahora cuando me vaya a mi casa. Me quedé echar en la calle. ¿Cómo te sentís al verla así? Bueno, pues yo también frío. Yo no voy a la gorra, ¿verdad? Pero en verano ya me imagino ahora. Ya tenía que usar pollerita y ella ya vestía como yo, así de hombre. Y yo caminando, me había terminado lento. Vos tenés más cabello ahora que la novia, ¿eh? Sí, claro que sí. Fuerza, Johnny, ¿eh? Le va a quedar bien igual. Igual, igual, voy a estar con ella, igual. Bien, Johnny, bien, Johnny. Mirá lo que es eso. Esto es jingo, señores. Esta es la prueba extrema que acredita a Claudia a estar en las finales el próximo lunes. 
Una Ustedes prueba no. extrema nunca antes vista. Tenemos ahora a Don ah, mirá Claudia. Lo que hace, mirá lo que hace Johnny. ¿Qué hace Johnny? Se tapa los ojos. No. Vos sabés que viendo así no es Claudia, es Claudio. Es Claudio. Mirá lo que es. Uh. Sigue rapando. Neri empareja todo. Ay, 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 este corte es tremendo. Va, qué corte. Esta es una rapada total. Ahí se viene. Esto le está dando un pase importantísimo wow. a Claudia. Esto significa que ella va a estar. Vamos a hacer un corte así para ir. Hey mom, do you love it so much that you shave your head? Actually, yes. When we were shopping, when we were shopping down in Kansas City, uh, just a few days after Laura got it done, I said, Laura, let's go into this hair salon. And I was going to get my hair shaved that day, but they were booked up. So, actually, I've asked the show today to shave you have my beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. today but right now right now right now because we have our barber standing by uh hi barber she's from master place here in new york city hi there mom go get your head shaved okay. Okay. audience are you okay with So we have enlisted the aid of a very special bald correspondent to help us. Laura's mother, uh, she had her head shaved in the beginning of the show. We're going to see what she looked like before. Who could forget? There she was. Beautiful hair. Nice haircut, too. Well, let's see Laura's mom, Pat, now. Pat, come on out. Is Amanda your daughter? Yes, she is. Would you help me to convince her today to shave her hair for the Ricky Lake show? Yeah, sure. Hey. Come on, Amanda. No, not me. Oh, Come on. Look, I don't look bad. Please, would you do it for the Ricky Lake show? Please. Why not? Because everybody makes fun of me and laugh at me. Not at all. Look at me. Look at your mom. Your mom looks great. Come on, Mandy. You can do it. You will definitely meet Ricky Lake. Okay, I'll do it. Great. Let's go. Oh no, oh no, I'm I'm the one to blame. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, I can't believe it. We Fury found someone to go bald. Stay tuned when we come back. 
We're going to meet that young woman who wants to have her long hair shaved off right on the stage. You won't want to miss it. Stay with us. I don't know how she did it, but Fury found a woman who is ready to lose her locks for us today, and here she comes. Hi, Fury. Hi. Nice to see you. Okay, you're Amanda and your mom, Samantha. Right. And mom, you're okay with this? Yeah, well, I figure a family that shaves together stays together. And you're okay. you got yeah. a lot of hair. Yeah, but if a man could do it, why couldn't a woman? And furry looks, Fury looks great. I know, I called her furry, too. She's definitely not furry. <laughs> She's anything but furry. She's gorgeous. She is. She is. Oh, she you is. are so beautiful. And you are going to do a beautiful thing with your hair. Yes, I'm going to donate to Locks of Love. Locks of Love, which is an amazing, amazing organization make that helps for uh, cancer patients to make wigs with natural hair. That's a wonderful thing you're doing. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Take a deep breath. Come on over. Let's meet our barber from Astor's Place here in New York. Go on, uh, go on over. He's ready for you. You did a good job. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> make sure you get as much as you can in a pony. Take that. Go ahead. Put that no, no, no. I need my hair. Bye. Okay, so he's doing a different tactic here. He's cutting it. Oh! Are you okay? You've survived. I'm okay. You survived the first cut. Okay. okay, there we go. I guess we're gonna see the rest later. Now we have Laura's mother. And you weren't ready. All right, remember Amanda? There she was. She had beautiful long hair, and she uh, agreed to donate her hair to, to Locks of Love. And uh, she's back there. Let's see how she looks now. There she is. And wait a minute, there's mom, too. Sit back here. The Bill? Yeah. Bill, now you've been I'm stupid the whole show. You've been Mr. I'm stupid the whole show. Oh but being Mr. I'm stupid, you did it nine times. So for nine of those, I have forty-five dollars. <laughs> when do you think? When do you think people cross the line when it comes? Well, to I think like when this? they violate their own personal ethics, standards, and morals, that's when they cross the line. Obviously, we haven't done that yet with Rosemary, <laughs> not yet at least. Though I'm stunned, I must tell you. I'm telling you, I, Rosemary, are you having second thoughts now? Too late, <laughs> no, Rosemary. No, it's too late. <laughs> you want to see it? You can see yourself up there. You look like you're a new recruit or something. But you know, right, so we're gonna take, we'll take a little break and we'll be back and we'll make sure your head gets shaved also. We'll be back right after this. I know a lot of you out there are thinking I wouldn't have done this or that or this or that, but Rosemary, the ultimate price. Hold it up. Hold it up. All for $500. George, $100 for that. How about our makeover? Where is she at? Let's see our makeover. Rose. Wait a minute. Onion Man. Onion Man. You bailed out on me. Yep. You bailed out so for eating just less than a third, you get the 10. You don't get the 30. You already went to the bathroom once. What can I say? <laughs> I don't know. Now, we did this all in fun today, and I will tell you that to pay people to do silly things is one thing. I'm not sure if you should really compromise your own morals or your own ethics for a little money, because if you do that, that's all you have. I don't know. Maybe this was fun. Next time around, I think about it. And Rosemary, I'm going to tell you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you look good. You may have to come back. If we could shave that completely, we'll bring you back and let you do like a little cameo spot with the head. We'll do like an eclipse or something, okay? <laughs> Join us on the next Montel Williams show. Okay. We are playing practical jokes today. I want to explain this next joke before we bring our, our, our ladies backstage. They are backstage on headphones. They cannot hear us. Carolyn, right here, the lady in the black, brought her friend to our show to get a radical makeover. Her friend is backstage. She cannot hear. She's on headphones. She doesn't know that Carolyn is playing a practical joke on her by making her think we're about to shave her head bald. <laughs> also in the joke are Susan here and Aaron. Susan's daughter has agreed to actually let us shave her head totally bald right here on the air. Aaron's friend Janet also will go totally bald on the air. But the one thing that Dawn said about her makeover, she said, whatever you do, don't cut my hair. She said, only an inch off of my hair. Okay? She's going to be watching as the other women are shaved totally bald and she knows she's next. Okay? All right. So we'll just play along. Okay?
Okay, it's time to get our makeover started, so let's bring our ladies out. Come on out. We have Kenda, Janet, and Dawn. Come on out, ladies. <laughs> This is Susan and her daughter Kenda, who is 17, and uh, Susan um, writes poetry for a living, right? That's really nice, children's poetry. Why do you think your daughter needs a makeover? You brought her here today. Well, she just turned 17, and I thought it would be nice for her to have something a little different. Okay. Well, uh, we, uh, we're, I think we have the status back there. We want to get started. We'll just start. We'll do some things we've never done it on the air before. We're going to, since all the women are basically getting the same style, the same haircut, we'll have our status come on and get started. Where are you? Patricia from Heidi Salon. Here we are. It's a very simple look, so Patricia, Patricia, we'll get started on Kenda. It's going, it doesn't take long, it's very simple. So go ahead and do the style on uh, Kenda. Here you go. backstage so we can get, I don't want to be, take too, too long here. Actually, looks kind of cool on one side. We'll let you finish backstage so we can get, keep, keep going with Aaron, whose friend Janet. Same deal. You've all agreed. Everybody's agreed to go bald, right? Okay. <laughs> и демонстрировали свои талант.
Ассамблеи. Способствующая глубоким размышлениям. Я Кристина Козготлев, мне 25 лет. Высшее образование, я магистр по международной экономике. Учиться я любила всегда, поэтому Донецкий государственный университет экономики и торговли и гимназия окончила с отличием. С пяти лет занимаюсь художественной гимнастикой, плаванием, играю в волейбол, а беру уроки актерского мастерства, занимаюсь вокалом. А еще я мечтаю победить в конкурсе «Мисс Украина Вселенная». Первый вице-мисс Украина Вселенная 2009 Антонина Паперна, город Киев! Украина, вселенная 2009. Хот, хот, Цветы и музыка, и ваши аплодисменты! It was fun. It was uh, it was liberating. Definitely, it's, it's definitely a good cause. My sister went up to do the first swipe, and um, oh, it was so it was kind of terrifying seeing my sister with the with the razor. And uh, but it was it was awesome. You know, I sat down and, and it was great. I know so many people. And... <laughs> Jake, it's only hair, right, babe? The idea for this came from his school teacher, Mrs. Peck. She decided to do it, and it just snowballed from there. Everybody, you know, decided to jump on board, the kids in his class. And it, and it means a lot to Jake. He's got a, a long road ahead of him. He's relapsed with his leukemia. And, uh, you know, it's just something we're just trying to do to show him support that he's not alone during this difficult time. And uh, it means a lot. Just think how fast I'll be in and out of the shower. Um, I feel really happy that they all decide to shave their heads. Team J. Team 